Good morning, guys, and welcome to the new part of this course, which is called optimization. So what is optimization? Basically, if I need to define optimization by searching its definition, it is the action of making the best or most effective use of a situation or resource, which means I need to best choose some input in order to have the desired output. In math, optimization is the act of finding minimum or maximum values of a function, and this function is called objective function. Let's take some examples. If I have the, this graph of a function uh, represented by y, versus a certain interval of x, and I need to find the maximum of this function, what I should do is to take some x and find y, and then to find what is x at which y is maximum, which is here, clearly this one. Now, in this case, this function is the profit because basically what matters for me, for any company, is to maximize the profit in its business. So this, maxim this function here represents the profit and this is x at which this profit is max. Now what if I have the function of the cost? Do I have to do the maximum or the minimum? In fact, if I have the cost, I need to do the minimum or I need to find x at which y here is minimum. And this is y. Now, in this case, the optimized point or x or input is given by the minimum y since the objective function here is the cost. Now, all of these examples were simple because, in fact, I only have one maximum or one minimum for a function that is represented graphically. I don't have any constraints and I only have one decision variable that is your x. What if I have a more sophisticated function? The con I have a certain number of constraints to be satisfied and I have several decision variables like x1, x2, etc. What should I do? For example, let's say that I have a company that is producing a certain number of laptops and a certain number of desktops. And I need to choose the best production strategy, which means how many laptops should I produce and how many desktops should I produce to have the maximized profit while maintaining some constraints like the capacity of this company? What if I need to choose the warehouse location that minimize the shipment cost while maintaining some constraints like demands and capacity. And what if I need to design a bridge by selecting the best material that maximizes the load carried, however, by maintaining a certain budget in a certain time? What if I need to design an airplane wing by minimizing the weight of this wing while maintaining a good strength, a good modulus of elasticity, and a certain limit of a cost. All of these examples are sophisticated examples that needs to be solved using a mathematical algorithm. Therefore, Optimization is very useful in finding the inputs for the best desired outputs. In this course, 
we will do this optimization using Excel and Dingo. And of course, by first of all, building the mathematical algorithm. So let's do it.